If you follow these two quick tips and maybe a bonus tip at the end, you'll be able to solve all your issues with Parallels on your Mac. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notification for more Pro Mac tips. Parallels is a powerful application that allows you to run Windows apps instead of rebooting your entire computer. It allows you to run your programs, parallel to your Mac. There's a variety of reasons why you would want to run Parallels on your Mac. Maybe you want to play games, maybe you want to run an application that's specific to Windows, so on and so forth, but then you could run into issues like maybe it just takes too much storage, maybe it takes too much RAM, so on and so forth. The first way we're going to do this is through the uninstaller module in Clean My Mac X. So here on this homepage, I'm going to go to uninstaller and I'll click on parallels. Now I'm going to hit this drop down menu just to show you something that there are more than what meets the eye when it comes to this application. There's something called binaries and installers and there's other files to go along with that. Once all of those are selected, just hit this uninstall button and Clean My Mac X will take care of everything from there. This program makes everything so simple with just one click and I really recommend this program and if you want, there's a download link in the description box below to get you started. The second way to go about doing this is to uninstall it manually. Let's go to Finder, Applications, and find the Parallels icon, drag it to your trash, and dump it. Now just because you dragged the icon of the Parallels application to your trash and you emptied it, doesn't necessarily mean that you got rid of the entire program. Program. Just like I showed you in step one, there's more than what meets the eye, and there's a ton of hidden files that need to be deleted as well. To start deleting those hidden files, let's go to our desktop, hit Command Shift G, and one by one, you're going to enter all these file paths that are going to appear on the screen right now. And with every directory, you're going to search for a folder titled Parallels, and you're going to also want to drag them to the trash. Now, this is an awful way to do it. So step one makes it way easier. Quick question for you viewers out there. How do you usually uninstall apps on your Mac? Do you usually just drag and drop it to your trash and think that it's all good? Do you use native uninstallers? Do you use programs like Clean My Mac X? Comment down below. We would love to know your answers. If you need more information on how to uninstall apps on your Mac, you can click this video link right here. So the bonus thing we're going to talk about today is what to do if Parallels is just misbehaving and we kind of want to fix that problem. Well, the first thing that I would really suggest is to just restart your computer. That usually solves a lot of problems. And if not that, make sure that the application is up to date and that your Mac is up to date. Simple way to check is to go to settings and then the top left corner will show you if there's a software update available and for me there is or you can go to the app store check updates and here you can see if you need to update any of your apps the third thing that you can do is to go back in the uninstaller module and clean my mac x and when you select parallels hit this drop down menu and there's an option to reset this is a great function for resetting your entire application without deleting it and then reinstalling it clean my mac x does that all for you thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you like comment subscribe and hit that bell notification for more pro mac tips